Here's the first story we have from the New York Times. Justice Department issues 40 subpoenas in a week, expanding its January 6th inquiry. It also seized the phones of two top Trump advisors, a sign of an escalating investigation two months before the midterm elections. Now this, this is like October surprise territory. They say we're not supposed to do anything 60 days before an election. Okay, well, they just did. Huh. And, they're go- and they're likely going to keep doing it. I, th- I think it's possible Trump gets indicted. I don't know for sure. They say the seizure of the phones coupled with a widening effort to obtain information from those around Mr. Trump after the 2020 election represents some of the most aggressive steps the department has taken thus far in its criminal investigation into the actions that led to the January 6th assault on the Capitol by a tro- uh, pro-Trump mob. That's interesting. They said assault, not insurrection. Hmm. Hmm. The extent of the investigation has come into focus in recent days, even though it has often uh, often been overshadowed by the government's legal clash with Mr. Trump and his lawyers over a separate inquiry, blah, blah, blah. OK, now they're just kind of just, you know, fluffing words up in this article. We get it. The big news is that they went after Trump. They went after Trump supporters and Trump allies and people working with Trump. So I guess, uh, I don't know, is Banana Republic? Is this we're going to have a free and fair election this November or is the FBI interfering right now with the Republican Party? This is a very dangerous escalation, which is being met with the Biden administration laying down the groundwork for really not just tough talk, but tough actions. We've seen Hillary Clinton just today compare Trump supporters to Al-Qaeda. We saw Kamala Harris on 9-11 at Ground Zero describe how threats against democracy should be treated like terrorists. We saw Biden on 9-11 also specifically say how terror victims should stand up for democracy. They're, they're laying the groundwork for something very serious. I think they're acting like a scared animal that's being backed in a corner because everyone's telling people to vote Republican, whether it's Aaron Rodgers, whether it's Joe Rogan, they're coming out and saying, hey, vote Republican. I think they see the Republicans as a threat. And I think when you, when you have an animal that that's in a corner, it, it could do anything at any moment. And I think the animal's afraid and it could bite. And I think there's going to be some larger consequences moving ahead uh, as, as you know, their grip of power is slowly unleashing and, and you know, becoming loose. No, you're 100% right. And, you know, to your question, I, I think it's the the latter of the three. Uh, and the interesting thing about this is that all of this could have been avoided. Um, there were speculations of irregularities in the, you know, 2020 uh, election. And if the if the appropriate people would have taken those allegations seriously or those those concerns seriously and looked into it, in a in a responsible way, then that would have evaded a lot of what ended up happening. I agree. So yeah, uh, they didn't though. A lot of the, the lawsuits were thrown out on standing, not the merits. And my attitude was, give give them what they want, right? And because uh, I, I I'm like, the end result is likely going to be the same. The there's there was a lot of crazy. I mean, it, it's it's crazy to me that you had people coming out talking about Venezuelan servers and gunfights in Germany and satellite stealing data. And I'm like, okay, guys, come on. Like, say, oh, okay, let's hear what you have to say and let people hear that because that's going to get dismissed immediately. Instead, we just got procedural grounds, which I don't know. I got to be honest. Maybe what they really wanted was discontent. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if you take a look at uh, January 6th, there were cops opening the door for people. So maybe they were thinking like, we could quash this, but maybe we want them all riled up so they act a fool and then we can make them look bad. Well, they're also invested into this. And I think this is more of a fishing operation than an actual investigation, because usually when you have, you know, the FBI going after somebody, there usually is a crime. But but to go after the, the supporters, we don't know exactly who these individuals are, but this is all related to January 6th. Okay, how far away from that date are we specifically? And, and, and what did they have? They might not have anything, but with these subpoenas, they might be investigating, trying to find something because I think they're desperate for something to blame the Republicans on it. And I'm not a Trump supporter. And to me, what's happening is extreme, extremely scary. And, it, and it's really bringing us to a very desperate situation in this next upcoming election that is dangerous for everyone. 